Hey there, my name is Chris on Code, and I'm a dev advocate at DigitalOcean. In this video, let's talk about one of my favorite frameworks, Next.js, and we're going to deploy it to App Platform. Now, App Platform is a new platform as a service offering from DigitalOcean where we can deploy not just static sites, but we can deploy our backend applications like Node apps, Laravel apps, Python apps, all from a GitHub repo. And then we can quickly add a database or a static site or any other types of components to an app platform app. So here we are going to deploy a Next.js app, which is a React framework. And this is an amazing framework because it gives you two different things on uh, how you want to deploy. You can either deploy a static HTML export, which is just static HTML pages that it can generate for us. And then you deploy those. And since they're just HTML pages, there's no like database hit or there's no server rendering or anything like that. It's extremely fast. It's just HTML. So next gives us this one option. And the second option, which we'll explore in this video, is a custom server. And custom servers are really cool because it's not just a statically generated site. It's that on the fly, Next.js can create those static pages. So if you visit a page that isn't statically generated just yet, Next.js will say, oh, well, I can go ahead and generate that for you and then serve that HTML page from now on. So it's kind of a static HTML export, but also some added benefits because you get a dynamic server behind it. So this is essentially deploying a node server, whereas this is deploying HTML pages. And we'll explore both of those in this video. So here I have a brand new Next application, and I created this using npx create next app. And this is just a bare bones Next app. If you want to see what this generated, this is the Next.js landing page for all brand new Next.js websites. So we're deploying this, nothing fancy here. So let's talk about deploying as an HTML export first. So to do this, you can see that there's this next export command that we can run and it will go ahead and create some HTML pages for us. So let's go ahead and try it. In here, I have my next app, and this is the package.json. And here we have scripts for dev, build, and start. And these are the default scripts that a next app comes with. I can go ahead and add another command called export. And we can say npm run build, because we always need to run the build first before we can export. And then you say npm. Uh, next export. So if I open up my Explorer here, here's all of my pages. I can open up my terminal and let's clear everything out. I can do npm run export, which is going to run this script right here. And I'll press enter. That will create the build and go ahead and statically generate our site. And since we only have really one page, it was extremely, extremely fast. But we created this brand new out folder which right here, we have our index.html right there, which is essentially the page that you just saw, except it's statically generated all HTML right here. So super cool that it can do that. Let's go back here. One thing to note is that app platform, when we're deploying static sites, wants everything in a underscore static folder instead of this out folder. So I'm going to add one more command here and say, and move out to the static folder. And that's just default app platform. You can change that in your settings if you like. But let's do this right here. I'm going to say adding export command. And I'm going to push this up to our GitHub repo. So if I push that up to the GitHub repo, and we go back to our app platform dashboard right here, here is our DigitalOcean app platform dashboard. Let's go ahead and see how fast we can deploy this static site that we just created. We go to create an app. And we're going to go for my next app, which is the GitHub repo I'm using. And this is amazing about app platform. We can deploy it straight from GitHub. I'll click next here. And I'm going to call this static site because we are going to deploy this a second time for the custom server version. And I'll do New York since that's what I'm closest to. Master branch right here. Auto deploy on code changes. Amazing button right there. I'll click next. And here is really cool because we have a web service option or a static site option. And static site is what we're doing because we're generating the HTML pages ourselves. 
a web service version is what we're gonna use for the custom server that essentially deploys a node application for us. So we'll do static site, and then down here under build command, I'm gonna go ahead and say yarn export instead of yarn build, because that's the command we just created. And now I'll go next. We'll click on the starter app, which is for static sites we can deploy for free, which is really nice about app platform. And uh, we get three starter apps for free, and I'll go launch starter app. All right, we have our static site deployed, deployed successfully here. You could even check out logs. And I'm just gonna click this URL right here, and we see our brand new Next.js application right here, but it is a static site. So this is the HTML page that we just deployed. So that's one way to deploy Next.js apps is using Next Export. Next up, let's talk about a custom server. So a custom server is a way for us to dynamically create our site. So instead of statically generating everything at the front end, if we had a site that had maybe 10,000 pages, we could deploy this custom node server to DigitalOcean and basically say, okay, when a person visits a page, just go ahead and generate that page and make it static so that the first person has to do the generation, but everything after that is static. So this is a really cool way to do it because you don't have to like wait for this build and export to happen on the front end. It just dynamically happens as people visit your site. Okay, so let's go over to our app. And basically, you're going to use next start instead of next export. And this app is just going to always keep running in the background as a node service. So we go here. And next start is already here built for us. So what we're going to do is there's a couple different things that App Platform wants specific to this that we can add. So basically, it just wants a host and a port. So by default, this will listen on localhost 3000. We're going to say, hey, I want you to listen on 0000, which is App Platform's default host. And we're going to say, I want your port to be port 8080. And that's just the syntax to kind of pass that through to this next start command. OK. And that's all it takes to deploy our custom server. So we're going to go here. We're going to say, ready for custom server. And I'm going to push this to GitHub. And now that that's pushed to GitHub, we can go ahead and deploy again. So we go here, we go back to apps. We have our static site here, and you can see the URL there. And we have create an app here. I'm gonna do my next app. And it's gonna be the same GitHub repo. We're just gonna call a different NPM script. I'm gonna call this one custom server. Same branch, same code changes, auto deployed, same region. I'll click next here. And here we go. Instead of static site, we're going to stick with the web service. And that's really cool. So here we have yarn build. We have yarn start. We already told it what port to go for. So we don't have to change anything down here. The only things we had to change for Next.js was in our own package.json. And that's all it takes. So all we do is click next here. We have a basic app. It's no longer a static site, so we have to pick between basic or pro. So I'll stick on the basic plan, and we'll go here and launch our app. All right, so we have our custom server now deployed. And if we click on this, we should see the same exact thing, but the difference is that this was dynamically generated on the fly. And it's really hard to tell here, but what you're really going to see is once you start growing your site and having a lot of different pages, having things dynamically generated is a great way to deploy your sites because all of your site pages can be generated on the fly and you don't have to worry about exporting everything up front. So there you go. Two different ways to deploy Next.js to App Platform. And that's the HTML way, which is Next Export, and the Custom Server way, which is Next Start. I hope you all enjoy Next.js on app platform as much as I do. Thanks for watching.